I need you, Holy Spirit, to defend me. You are my defense. Watch over me this morning as I engage in spiritual warfare. I activate the host of heaven to war on my behalf. Let every power of the enemy attempting to destroy my life, let all such powers be destroyed by the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, O oh Holy Spirit. I am excited to be in your presence. Let your power come upon me. I wash myself with the blood of Jesus. I sanctify this whole environment with the blood of Jesus. Let this environment be saturated with the blood of Jesus. Let all sins that I have committed, sins of commission, sins of omission, let them be forgiven in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, that you are empowering me for spiritual warfare. Every scripture that I speak, let it destroy the powers of darkness in the name of Jesus. Now, Holy Ghost, strengthen the men of God. Use the men of God for this holy assignment in the name of Jesus. Let satanic altars be destroyed by the power of the word of God. Let the word that we speak be irresistible to the enemy. Let the enemy not be able to stand every word that we speak. Strengthen our words. Strengthen our tongues. Strengthen our mouth. O oh, Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name. Can somebody say amen? I want us to go to the book of uh, Matthew chapter number 6. Remember, it is thy kingdom come. That's what we are dealing with. Thy kingdom come. We're going to pray from a thy kingdom come perspective. The Bible says in, I'm going to be moving very, very quickly. I've got about 100 scriptures to cover, so I've got a lot of work to do. The Bible says in Matthew chapter number 6, verse number 9, In this manner, therefore, pray, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, then it gives us the first prayer point, the most important prayer point in your life. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Somebody say, thy kingdom come. Today I speak over your life and I decree the kingdom of God will superimpose itself over the kingdom of darkness in the name of Jesus. I declare and I decree by the power of the Holy Ghost as the kingdom of God is established, let every work of wickedness be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Give me the next verse. Then he says in verse number 11, Give us this day our daily bread. He's praying for provision. We are not there today. Give me the next verse. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Say, Father, thank you for your forgiveness. As it is a kingdom privilege to be forgiven of all sin, I grab a hold of that promise in the name of Jesus. He says, forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Hallelujah. Next part. Then it says, do not lead us into temptation. And this is the part we are at this morning. But deliver us from the evil one. Deliver us from the evil one. Say, Lord, deliver me from the evil one. Deliver me from the evil plans. Deliver me from the evil powers. Hallelujah. The enemy has evil plans against you. The enemy does not like you. He's not trying to be your friend. He's not trying to be your mate. Hallelujah. He's trying to destroy you. John 10 verse 10, the thief does not come except to steal, to kill, and to destroy. That's his mandate. Hallelujah. So you don't play with a destroyer. Hallelujah. You don't play games with the devil. Hallelujah. You don't negotiate with the devil. You just destroy the devil. Hallelujah. May the enemy be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every enemy to your destiny must be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I prophesy this morning under the anointing of the Holy Ghost uh, that every satanic power assigned against KPM, any man 
member of KPM. That power must be destroyed. In the name of Jesus. Even as we cancel the earthquake last night in the name of Jesus. We cancel any satanic plan over your life in the name of Jesus. We cancel accidents in the name of Jesus. May you not be counted amongst those who die of COVID-19. You shall be counted among the living and not amongst the dead. For you shall not die but live to declare the works of the Lord according to the word of God in the name of Jesus. May God deliver you from the evil of COVID-19. I declare and I decree every chain of COVID-19 must lose you. Every symptom must lose you. Whether you are in here or you are online, I command you to be loosed in the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter if you have any underlying conditions. It will not affect you. It will not infect you. It will not destroy you in the name of Jesus. I release the power of the blood of Jesus upon your life. May you be empowered by the blood of Jesus. I wash your whole immune system with the blood of Jesus. I strengthen your immune system with the blood of Jesus. May you be strengthened by God himself in the name of Jesus. I cancel any evil incantation being sent to you to affect you and infect you with COVID-19. We are not here for good English this morning. We are here for serious spiritual warfare. And in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Ghost, we destroy every satanic yoke in the name of Jesus. We destroy any attempt of COVID-19 over your life. In the name of Jesus, I speak over the lives of KPM. We shall not lose any church member. We shall not lose Gogoma Biza. We shall not lose Sekurma Biza. We shall not lose any child of God. Any witchcraft that is working in cooperation with COVID-19. That power of witchcraft is aborted in the name of Jesus. Loze Tabaka Deba Gotamahaya. We secure your life in the hand of Jehovah. In the name of Jesus, your life is secured. Your destiny is preserved in the name of Jesus. The life of your loved ones, they are preserved in the name of Jesus. May you be preserved by the hand of the Holy Ghost. May the God of Jacob defend you. Le kabatola mazatola mahaya. Manda mazato mahaya. Psalm 50 verse 15. It says, call upon me in the day of trouble. And he makes a powerful promise. And I will deliver you. I will deliver you. He didn't say, I might deliver you. He says, I will definitely deliver you. Today, we call upon God. In this day of trouble, December 21 and 22, these are days of trouble. That's why that plan of an earthquake, it was a real plan. And I know because of the dates. Hallelujah. I told you yesterday morning. It is a day of trouble. Hallelujah. So this week we must not, don't get into Christmas mode too early. Don't be so Christmas minded you lose focus on 2021. Hallelujah. Make you call on the God of Jacob in the day of trouble. And as we call on God, may he deliver us. My father, my God, you promised to deliver us. You will not leave us when we call upon you. We are not calling upon you in vain. You will deliver us in the day of trouble. Today, in the name of Jesus, even as this is a day of trouble, Jehovah God, according to satanic plans and calendars, we call upon you in this special prayer meeting. May the God of Jacob defend us. May no KPA member be harmed. May they have no accidents in the name of Jesus. We call upon him. Come on, open your mouth and pray in the Holy Ghost. We call upon him. This is the day of trouble. We are calling upon God. We call upon God. We call upon God. Yes, 
we call upon you Jesus we call upon you Jesus we call upon you this is the day of trouble so we call upon you we are not going to be quiet we call upon you we are desperate for your intervention we call upon you this is the day of trouble we know that the enemy has got some nasty plans against our lives so we call upon you we call upon you Luke oh Lord they are after our lives so we call upon you we call upon you we call upon you because we know you are almighty because we know you are all powerful we call upon you you are our solution center we call upon you nothing is impossible with you rent the heavens and come down oh God rent the heavens and come down rent the heavens and come down in your power rent the heavens and come down in your majesty we know the wicked one has got plans so he rent down the heavens rent the heavens and come down rent the heavens tear the heavens and come down come down in your majesty Psalm 68 verse number one the Bible says let God arise and let his enemies be scattered that word let means allow hallelujah today we are allowing God to rise up and scatter the enemy I scatter the enemy of Zion Lord God arise and scatter the enemy of Zion Lord God arise and scatter the enemy of your children do not leave us alone to be stranded with the enemy arise oh God in your power and destroy every wicked one working against our lives destroy the everyone that is working in conjunction with Lucifer anyone who has covenanted with the devil to destroy us arise oh God and scatter them scatter them that hate the church scatter them that hate Zion let witches be confounded and destroyed arise O Lord and scatter the enemy arise O Lord and scatter the witches arise O Lord and scatter witchcraft arise O Lord and scatter the wizards arise in your majesty arise in your power arise my father my God in the name of Jesus arise my father my God let the enemy be scattered let the enemy be confounded let the enemy be destroyed arise in your power arise in your majesty arise my father my God and scatter the enemy Psalm 35 verse 5 when God arises what happens the Bible says let them be like chaff before the wind let the angel of the Lord chase them I see the Lord chasing enemies in your life I see the Lord chasing enemies in your life. I see the Lord driving out the spirits that are trying to destroy your life. In the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Ghost, we speak Psalm 35 verse number 5. Let the enemy be as chaff before the wind. Let the angel of the Lord chase them. As you open your mouth and pray, the angel of the Lord must chase them. Open your mouth. Come on, open your mouth. The angel of the Lord must chase them. The angel of the Lord must chase the witches. The angel of the Lord must chase the wizards. The angel of the Lord must chase the witchcraft powers. The angel of the Lord Angels pursue them. Even this night, angels shall pursue witches. Even this day, angels shall pursue powers of witchcraft. Angels of the Lord, drive out witches in my family. Drive out the occult in my family. We speak Psalm 7 verse number 9 Let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end But establish the just As you destroy the powers of wickedness Establish us Establish us Establish us Let that wickedness come to an end Let that wickedness come to an end the reign of terror in my family must come to an end the reign of witchcraft in your family must come to an end let it come to an end let it come to an end, let it come to an end. witchcraft powers are signed to slow down my progress your powers must come to an end your reign must come to an end the reign of terror of witchcraft 
must come to an end. It must come to an end. Let wickedness come to an end. Let powers of darkness come to an end. Let the occult come to an end. We are in the last of the last days. The Bible says in the last days, many perilous times shall arise. My Father, my God, perilous times have arisen. We need you, my Father, my God, to step in. In the name of Jesus, we destroy the powers of witchcraft. No one who's watching online shall be bewitched in the name of Jesus. Witchcraft is not permitted. He allowed no one to do them any harm. He allowed no one to touch them. He permitted no one to do you harm. You are not permitted to be harmed. Come on church, let's step it up. This December, you are not permitted to be harmed. You are not permitted to die in 29, 2020. You are not permitted to die in this year. You are getting into next year by the power of the Holy Ghost. No one is permitted to harm you. Open your mouth and pray. Release this into the atmosphere. Come on, plead the blood of Jesus upon your whole life. Plead the blood of Jesus upon all your siblings. Plead the blood of Jesus upon everything that concerns you. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Yeshua. The blood of Jesus upon your doorpost and your lintels, upon your windows. In the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus in your office. The blood of Jesus in your household. Witchcraft powers are not permitted to harm you. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and break it. PM. Light up your light with the fire of the God. Light up your life with the fire of God. According to Isaiah 54, verse number 15, those who assemble against you, those who assemble to destroy you, they shall fall for your sake. Every enemy of your destiny shall fall for your sake. Everyone who's online, if the link goes, just keep trying, keep trying, keep trying. It's important that you keep trying. Even if it goes 10 times, keep trying, keep trying, keep trying. Don't let the devil win. This is spiritual warfare. Catch this power in your house. Catch this power in your office. You who's in that hospital, you are coming out. Permitted no one to do them harm. Saying, touch not my anointed. And by the way, Isaiah 54 verse 17. No weapon fashioned against you shall be able to prosper. Destroy every weapon. Destroy every weapon. Weapon, every satanic weapon, every satanic hold is being destroyed in the name of Jesus. We destroy the hold of the enemy, we destroy the power of the enemy, we destroy the powers of darkness, we destroy it. We destroy the powers of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Destroy the powers of witchcraft. Destroy satanic plans. In the name of Jesus. According to Ezra 4 verse 4 and 5. He frustrated those who were hired. Every hired power. Be frustrated in the name of Jesus. Every frustrated power. Be frustrated. We frustrate witches. We frustrate wizards. We frustrate the occult. We frustrate satanists. Hey, Kabato Lama Haya. <laughs> we frustrate them we frustrate their weapons we frustrate their hold we frustrate their horns we frustrate their serpents we frustrate we frustrate them we frustrate them we frustrate them open your mouth KPM 
Open your mouth. Uh, frustrate every satanic device. Uh, every arrow uh, sent against you. Uh, we intercept that arrow. Uh, we intercept that arrow. We intercept that arrow. Uh, we send it back to the sender. Uh, give me Psalm 7 verse 16. Uh, his trouble shall fall upon his own head. Uh, and his violent dealing shall come upon his own crowd. Uh, every violence of the enemy shall come upon his own own head. Whoever devises trouble for you, it's coming upon their own head. Open your mouth and pray. Hallelujah. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. The Lord said to me this morning, early this morning as I was praying, the Lord said to me, in my kingdom, the way to do spiritual warfare is in the kingdom of God. We attack the enemy. That's how we defend ourselves. You didn't get it. The best defense is to attack. Listen, you have tolerated these things for too long. Are you listening to me? You need just to learn to attack. We are attacking the enemy. Hallelujah. So when the enemy attacks you, you don't sit back and feel sorry for yourself. No. You say, let his, let his trouble return on his own head. Psalm 7 verse 16. This is a scripture from my holy Bible. Hallelujah. You don't say, Musadaro. No. You say your violent dealings are coming upon your own head. Are you... Are you, are you hearing what I'm saying to you? Whatever the enemy prophesies against you is what will happen to them double. He says, I will give you double to the enemy. Today we decree. You've been too gentle. Listen to me. The Lord said to Moses, a profound instruction. He says, Moses, go and tell Pharaoh this simple instruction. Tell him to let my people go. And tell him, if he does not let my people go, right? If he touches my son, I will kill his firstborn. This is what the Lord said. This is the Lord. This is the holy God, the God of love. Are you listening to me? He said, I will kill your firstborn. So, you need to learn to attack if the enemy is attacking my firstborn, in the name of Jesus, it is their firstborn that shall be buried. Because this is how it works. This is how it works. If the enemy is attacking my lastborn, hello, it is the enemy's lastborn that shall be buried. I'm telling you the truth. This is the key. It's a kingdom principle. Because he says the same trouble he wants to trouble you with. Are you listening to me? It is the trouble that will come upon them. The enemy wants to eat your flesh. That's Isaiah 49. It's 24, 25, somewhere there. He wants to eat your flesh. So the Bible says he will be fed with his own flesh. The enemy wants to drink your blood. He will be drunk with his own blood as with sweet wine. It's in your Bible. I'm quoting scripture. Hallelujah. I'm not quoting my opinion. I'm Generally, I'm a very nice person. But when it comes to spiritual warfare, there's no room for niceness. Because the enemies you are dealing with are wicked. Hallelujah. The Bible says, let the wickedness of the wicked. So there are wicked people amongst us. There are people who just hate you just because. They don't have a good reason. No matter how much good you do, they will always complain. Hallelujah. So you don't try and play nice with those ones. You say, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. Let me give you a new one. Let the wicked and his wickedness come to an end. That's the Chipoyera version now. Let the wicked and this wickedness come to an end. Whoever is a witch in your family and has sworn that you would die, that witch must be buried before 1 January in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Wickedness must come to an end. The Bible says, suffer a witch not to live. We are applying scripture here. Hallelujah. Witchcraft powers must die. Let the wicked come to an end. Ah, that accident plan 
done for you shall happen to them. We are not here to play games. Hallelujah. Let the wickedness come to an end. Let the wicked and his wickedness come to an end. Him and his weapons come to an end. Come to an end. Him and his serpent come to an end. Today we are bruising the head of the serpent. We are bruising the headship of the serpent kingdom. Open your mouth and pray. You've been too quiet this December. The enemy is now having a field day. Open your mouth and pray. Some of you, your breakthrough is in your warfare. Upon Mount Zion, Obadiah 117, there shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. If you do this warfare right, you will possess some things before the end of the year. It's not too late for your money. It's not too late for your payment. It's not too late for your breakthrough. It's not too late for your title deed. It's not too late for that transaction. It's not too late. Open your mouth and pray. Let the wickedness of the wicked let it come to an end. Upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. There is deliverance in the house. These are deliverance prayers. Let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. Job chapter 5 verse number 12 very quickly the Bible says he frustrates the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot carry out their plans every craftiness of the enemy is being frustrated for your sake I said it's being frustrated for your sake. Whatever device the enemy has, whatever satanic device, it doesn't matter what satanic technology it is, it is being frustrated. Hallelujah. I said spiritually we remove the battery and we frustrate that satanic remote control. They will no longer be able to control you remotely. They will no longer be able to attack you remotely. In the name of Jesus, every satanic device planted on you anti-marriage, in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Ghost uh, that device is being destroyed whatever was put on you whatever was put on your belly button we frustrate that device we frustrate that device we frustrate that device we frustrate that device on you Esther we frustrate that device it's been there for a long time but we frustrate it we frustrated her. We frustrated her. Fire on that belly. Fire on your belly button. Fire. That witchcraft that they did on your navel. We reverse it. We reverse it. Placental cases. We reverse them. We reverse by the power of the Holy Ghost. I frustrate her every placental case done upon you so we reverse they are controlling your destiny in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Ghost I remove that remote control I frustrate that device wherever it was planted your placenta and they are controlling your destiny. Be it delivered, the two of you. Be it delivered. Be he set free. There is power here today. The anointing of the Holy Ghost is here. We break the powers of darkness. We break the yoke of the enemy. We break the yoke of witchcraft. We break that power. We destroy that power. Every limitation because of your sacrifice, it is broken. Because of your sacrifice, witchcraft powers are broken. Witchcraft powers are broken. 
whatever witchcraft has been done on you over the years on the strength of your sacrifice and by the power of the holy ghost break 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 if you pray right every chain must fall every chain must fall every single satanic chain must fall in the name of jesus thy kingdom come divine defense god must defend you and he defends you by attacking the enemy lift up your right hand i love what david said he said my enemies rejoice not over me this december going into january the enemy will never have a reason to celebrate because of your life many years ago i had a stroke and I heard a few years after that, that my enemies, they had a bride when I had a stroke to celebrate. True story. Because Matthew 10, 36 says, your enemies shall be from your household. 90% of witches are in your family that are against you. Unless if it's an overzealous neighbor, Mostly witches that bewitch you are your family members. And the problem is you are too trusting. You gauge people's spirituality by the smile on their face. They had a bride, Robert, a, a whole bride. That one man was half paralyzed. And from that time I woke up spiritually. And I began to raise a standard spiritually. For when the enemy shall come in like a flood, Isaiah 59, 19, the spirit of the Lord will raise their stand. They will never catch me and away again. And this time when I do warfare, it's dollar for dollar, pound sterling for pound sterling, euro for euro, attack for attack. If they send death, I send death. And listen to me, you need to not play games. You die before your time if you are soft in this kingdom. Hallelujah. And I say these things openly. These are personal things, but I share them with you so that you understand where I'm coming from. So that you understand that you've got to take the same posture. Listen to me. If you just focus on kingdom principles and you ignore warfare, you will still be frustrated. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. You've got to fight for your destiny. I fight for my destiny by sacrifice, but I also fight for my destiny by spiritual warfare. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No problem. Just because you, you share the same blood type doesn't mean you share the same opinion. Lift up your right hand to heaven. Shout at the top of your voice. In the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Any sworn enemy of my destiny that says I will not make it. I release a counter attack against that word. I attack, I attack, I attack, I attack, I attack, I attack, I attack. That power. Open your mouth and pray. Yabado bakita la bahaya. Hey, kapato la bahaya. Yababo katila la bahaya. Open your mouth and pray. This is not games we are playing here this is for your destiny this is for your destiny fight for your destiny fight for your destiny fight for your destiny destiny even you who's online step it up hallelujah hallelujah let the enemy feel these prayers today we send angels into the enemy's camp on a monday morning we are telling them this week there's no games we're not here to play we're not here for games we attack every enemy of our destiny open your mouth and pray we release the power of the Holy Ghost they will never rejoice over you they will never rejoice over you 
my enemies rejoice not over me for when I fall I will rise again they will never rejoice over your marriage again they will never rejoice over your marriage again they will never have reason to rejoice because of your marriage because of what they do to your marriage they will never rejoice again I said witches will never rejoice again I said strange women will never rejoice again I said strange women will never rejoice again they will never rejoice again they will never rejoice over your life come on this is the army of the living God open your mouth and pray enemy you will not rejoice I'm going to wait and pray for the devil is a liar lose that girl and let her go lose that girl and let her go mention them by name on your mother's side on your father's side lose me and let me go that's my father's side Welcome, Ruma. That's my mother's side. Lose me and let me go. Lose my children. Open your mouth and pray. We are not here for games. We are not here for coffee prayer meeting. We are here for serious spiritual business. You better open your mouth and pray. This could be your opportunity to destroy the powers of darkness. Loose me and let me go. Loose me and let me go. Loose me and let me go. Adabako talama haya. Atabaka dalama haya. Andolo boko di bakati lara haya. Atabaka telere de bese tele boko di haya. Psalm fifty-six, verse number nine. Your enemy will not rejoice over you because you are about to arise. Thank you, Lord. I'll say that. The Lord will give you a breakthrough this December that will frustrate your enemy. I said the Lord, he will give you a breakthrough that will frustrate your enemy this December. I will not go rapera, satrapera. Today is a working day. From this morning prayer, you march onto the market and you say, Devil, I'm back. I want my money and I want it now. I want my breakthrough and I want it now. I see some enemies making a U turn. Come here. Yes. Come here. As I'm not just in the toilet, let me see you. I look to roll, watch it. The wizard next to you is not clapping. I said, let her go. I said, let her go. I said, let her go. And the Psalm 56 9. When I cry out unto you, O Lord, then my enemies they make a U turn. This I know because God is for me. So they look at me, hello, and they are attacking me. But when they see God, they U turn. Why do they see God? Because I cry out unto God. You are going to pray a prayer called a holy cry. It's called a vociferous cry. That is the same cry that blind Bartimaeus made when he said, Son of David, have mercy on me. He got the attention of Jesus. We are going to get the attention of God right now. With your hands lifted up to heaven at the top of your voice. Say, Son of David, have mercy on me. Son of David, step in. Son of David, intervene. Son of David, I cry out unto you. Open your mouth and pray, clapping your hands. 
you are crying a holy cry your enemies must you turn her poverty must make a you turn her sickness must make a you turn her disease must make a you turn her curses must make a you turn her amakatala mahaya masimba be set free completely free from the altars of darkness I'm looking for warriors who are fighting for their destiny. I'm looking for warriors who are saying this year must end well. Hallelujah. Psalm 62 verse 6 says, He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. In the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Ghost. You are free. You are released. You can go. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I declare and I decree over your life. In the name of Jesus, God is your defense. Whatever wants to face you must first face your God. Lift up your right and shout in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. My God is the defender of my marriage. My God is the defender of my children. My God is the defender of my business. My God is the defender of my destiny. My God is the defender of my transactions. My God he is my defender. Father God, defend me. Jehovah, you are my defense. I shall not be moved. I shall not be moved. Defend me, oh God. Open your mouth and pray. God is your defense. God is your defense. God is your defense. Come on, church, don't play games. God is your defense. Lord, you are my defense. May the God of Jacob defend you. You are activating the defense of Jehovah. He must defend you. He must defend your business. There are enemies working against your business. God is your defense. 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 Church, I need you praying. Don't play games with these prayers. God must defend you. Lord, defend my destiny. Lord, defend my destiny. Come on, begin to pray. Ask God to defend your destiny. Defend my destiny. This surely this cannot be my life. Surely this cannot be all. There must be something bigger. There must be something better. God, you are my defense. Defend every transaction. Open your mouth and pray. Release God on every transaction. Lord, you are my defense. Defend me, Jehovah. Jehovah God, defend me. Some trust in chariots, some trust in horses, but we trust in the Lord. We will not trust in him quietly. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Whom he has de de delivered from the hand of the enemy. At Psalm 107 verse 2. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. God is your defense. He's delivering you from the hand of the enemy. Look at me. There are times you are trying to do a transaction and you can see satanic resistance. So what you need is God, your defender, to come and defend your transactions. Because your destiny is connected to your transactions. Never forget that. Your destiny is connected to your transactions. Every time you make a significant transaction, you take steps towards your destiny. So whenever the enemy delays or frustrates your transaction, he's actually frustrating your destiny. It's not even about the transaction. It's about your destiny. There are transactions you can make. One transaction and buy a house. One, one transaction and buy a house. Then you forget about bills, rentals, all that nonsense. You forget about that. And you start to focus on other things. There are people who can't even pray, focusing on rent. So when you make a significant transaction, you take steps towards your destiny. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Are, are, you, are you getting this? Lift up your right hand to heaven. Say, my Father, my God, there is warfare going on in my transactions. Whenever 
I'm about to close the deals on my transactions. There is a power that rises up against me on these transactions. In the name of Jesus, Jehovah, fight for me on these transactions. Fight for me. Fight for me. Beat down my enemies before me. Beat down every enemy before me. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. God is fighting for your transactions. We beat the enemy today. We beat the enemy today. Psalm 89, he beats down his enemies. Find it. He beats down the enemy. He beats down the enemy. Every enemy fighting your transactions. Every enemy fighting your transactions. We beat that enemy today. Every enemy fighting your transactions. We beat them spiritually. We beat them spiritually. Every enemy fighting your transactions. They must receive a holy beating. They must receive a holy beating. Every enemy fighting your payments. They are receiving a holy beating. They are receiving a holy beating. They are receiving a holy beating. He says in Psalm 89, verse number 23, He will beat down his foes before him. He will beat down his enemies before him. Every enemy of your destiny, receive a holy beating. Receive a holy beating. Receive a holy beating. Is right there. I, that's God, says, I will beat down his enemies before his face and plague those who hate him. Are you seeing that? So your enemies can receive a plague, an incurable disease that the doctors, they can't find what it is, but yet they cannot deny the fact that someone is sick. Lift up your right hand to heaven. Say in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I release a decree that every enemy of my destiny receive a holy beating. Receive a holy beating in the name of Jesus. Angels of the living God, rise up and beat my enemies. Say, my father, my God, in my life, I'm operating under the spell of delays. May there be no more delays in my life. Every power delaying me, I command that power to be destroyed. Spirit of delay, receive a holy distraction. Open your mouth and pray. There shall be no more delays. Church, you need to pray. Come on, open your mouth. No more delays. No more delays. Today, I swear by him who lives forever. And I say there shall be no more delays. According to the Revelations chapter number 10. I am like that angel. I put one foot on the land and one foot on the sea and swear by him who lives forever and say there shall be no more delay. Every delay breakthrough, there shall be no more delays. We attack the spirit of delay. We attack the power of delay. We attack the power of delay. We attack the power of delay. Open your mouth and attack the power of delay. We attack the power of delay. There shall shall be no more delays. There shall be no more delays. I said there shall be no more delays. In the name of Jesus, no more delays in my life. No more delays to my destiny. No more delays. There shall be no more delays. We attack the spirit of delay that is frustrating us. In the name of Jesus, this demon that says tomorrow, 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 we attack that power. We attack that power. Isaiah 45, he says, I will go before you. I will make the crooked places straight. He says, I will break the bars of iron. There are bars of iron where you want your money. And in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Ghost, we break the bars of iron. We break the bars of iron. Shout Jehovah God. Today, open the cage. That is withholding my money. Open the cage that is withholding my treasures in the kingdom of darkness. Jehovah God, break that cage as I pray in the Holy Ghost, clapping my hands. That satanic cage must be broken. Go before me. 
break the cage break the cage break the cage open your mouth and pray break the cage jehovah 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 I need you to pray. Break the cage, Jehovah. Cut the bars of iron. 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 We cut the bars of iron asunder. We cut the bars of iron asunder. Psalm 18, Psalm 18, verse 17 and 18. He says, he delivers me from my strong enemy, from those who hate me, for they were too strong for me. So the Lord would deliver you from strong enemies. Lift up your right hand. Say, every strong enemy that is working with Lucifer, against my destiny prepare yourself to face my god in the name of jesus and by the power of the holy ghost every strong enemy be destroyed by jehovah be destroyed by jehovah jehovah arise Fight my strong enemies. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. God will fight your strong enemies. God will fight your strong enemies. God will fight that strong spirit husband. God will fight that strong spirit wife. God will fight them. God will fight them. God will fight them. Open your mouth and pray. God is fighting your strong enemies. 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 Every strong enemy working against your destiny, your God is fighting them, Isabel. Your God is fighting them, Isabel. Every enemy that says we are strong, your God is dealing with them. Your God is dealing with them. Every enemy that says we are strong, your God is dealing with them. Your God is dealing with them. Your God is dealing with them. Every strong witch, every strong wizard, your God is dealing with them. He delivers me from my strong enemies. Church, I need you to pray. Your God will deliver you from strong enemies, strong family enemies, strong family witches, strong family wizards. Your God will deal with them. Your God will deal with them. Arise, O Lord, in your power. Deal with strong enemies in the name of Jesus. Jeremiah 1 verse 19. The Bible says that they shall fight you. The enemy will always fight you. And they will fight you, but they will not prevail. For I am with you, says the Lord. Lift up your right hand. Say, my father, my God, I know the enemy. He will come. He will fight me. But I thank you for your word that says from today going forward, that enemy will not win. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, every enemy of my destiny, hear the word of the Lord. You will not win for my God. He is with me. As I pray, man, come here. As I pray in the Holy Ghost, clapping my hands, every enemy that had been winning from now, you no longer win. You no longer win. Put it down. Put it down. You no longer win. You no longer win. You no longer win. You no longer win. The enemy will no longer win. They will no longer win. They had been winning until now, but they will no more win. The enemy will not win anymore. Open your mouth and pray. Every enemy that had been winning in your life, they will not win anymore. They had been winning, but not anymore. They had been celebrating, but not anymore. Enemies of your destiny will no longer win. Which is in your family. 
here. They will no longer win. The occult will no longer win. Satanic powers will no longer win. I need you to step it up, church. Step it up. You are dealing with strong enemies now. You are dealing with strong enemies now. They can no longer win. They can no longer win. They can no longer win. They were winning, but not anymore. 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 Enemies of your destiny, they shall no longer win. They shall no longer win. I said your enemies, they will win no more. 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 God is with you from now going forward. Your enemies will win no more. They will win no more. Delay powers, they will win no more. Frustrating powers, they will win no more. Marriage witchcraft will win no more. Will win no more. Will win no more. Lift up your right hand. He says in Daniel 7, I was watching, I was watching, and the enemy was prevailing against the saints. Come right here, daughter. Come here. The enemy was prevailing against the saints. Hallelujah. Until the ancient of days came. I think from verse 20 somewhere there. He says, until the ancient of days came and the judgment was made in favor of the saints. Listen to this. After the judgment, look at what happened. And, and he said, it is time for the saints to possess the kingdom. Are you understanding? The kingdom. So we are going to benefit from the kingdom from now. Why? Because the ancient of days is stepping in. Is stepping in. He is stepping in. Lift up your right hand. Say, say ancient of days. Talk to me. Say ancient of days. Step in on my behalf. Ancient of days. Step in now. Open your mouth and pray. Ancient of days must step in. Step in in the life of grace. Step in ancient of days. Is that how you want the ancient of days to step in? Step in ancient of days. Ancient of days must step in. Ancient of days must step in. Ancient of days must step in. You who's online, you better pray. Ancient of days must step in. He will only step in if you pray. The ancient of days must step in. Say, ancient of days, I need you to step in to my situation. By myself, I cannot win. But with you, nothing shall be impossible. What I fail to do, I will do now because as I pray in the Holy Ghost, clapping my hands, ancient of days, you are stepping in. Open your mouth, begin to move around, signifying the stepping in of the ancient of days. Exodus 14, verse 24 and 25. Understand when I speak a scripture, it's a heavenly decree. So, whatever scripture we give voice to, angels they are told to perform that scripture understand it understand it if you understand the powers of the scriptures you'll never ignore your bible again the bible says then moses stretched out his hand huh, over the sea and the lord caused the sea to go back by the strong east wind all that night and made the sea into dry land and the waters were divided every red sea in front of you as i stretch my hand that red sea must part wherever you need god to make a way god is making a way where there seems to be no way God is making a way. He's making a way. He's making a way. Where there seems to be no way, He's making a way. Where you were blocked, God is making a way. Where you were blocked, God is making a way. He said, I will make a way where there seems to be no way. He said, I will make a way, a road in the wilderness. In the name of Jesus, even wherever you are looking at a mountain, God is making a way. God can either cut that mountain or he can reduce that mountain. Either way, Emma, God is making a way. Give me the next verse. So the children of Israel went into the midst of the sea on dry ground. I wanted verse 14, verse 24 and 25. 24 and 25. 
he says now it came to pass in the morning in the morning watch that the lord looked down upon the army of the egyptians through the pillar of fire and the cloud and he troubled the army of the egyptians we are going to pray trouble on your enemy i have too many mother marys in this church i said we are going to pray trouble upon your enemy trouble 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 Trukudaidzira wakaipa matambudziko. Muvengi anokurwisa. Trukumudaidzira matambudziko. Nestara Jesu, it's in your Bible. I decree that your God is bringing trouble upon your enemies. Anyone who's been troubling you this year, God is bringing trouble to them. Whoever has been troubling your marriage, God is bringing trouble to them. Whoever has been troubling your marriage, God is bringing trouble to them. Whoever is troubling your children, God is bringing trouble to them. Whoever is troubling your children, God is bringing trouble. Whoever is troubling your husband, God is bringing trouble. Whoever is troubling your wife, God is bringing trouble. Whoever is troubling your health, God is bringing trouble. Whoever is speaking against your finances God is bringing trouble on them open your mouth and bring trouble on the enemy come on open your mouth they must be too busy in trouble for them to attack you the Lord will trouble them the Lord will trouble them the Lord will trouble your enemies everyone working against your transactions grace they are in trouble now they are in trouble now I command trouble from heaven Trouble from heaven. May God trouble them. In the name of Jesus. God is troubling my enemies. Next verse. He says, and he, talking about God, took off the wheels of the chariots. He took off the chariot wheels so that they drove them with difficulty. And the Egyptians said, let us flee from KPM for the Lord fights for them let us flee for the Lord fights for Bart Simpson so they will flee they will flee they will flee Whoever is bewitching NG will flee, for the Lord is fighting for her. That tells me when the enemy came, Rachel, the enemy thought you were by yourself. But they found God. They found God. When the enemy comes to you, Chido, they will find God. So they have to flee because when they came, they thought you were by yourself. But they found God. Marge, come here. They found God. They found God. They found God. When they came from Malawi, Hama, they found you with God. They thought you were by yourself. So they are fleeing now because they have found that God is with you. They thought you were by yourself. They thought you were by yourself. But when they came, they found God. As they come to you, they will see you are not by yourself. They will see you are not alone. Drive ashes here. When I move in the crowd, you come close. You come close. God is with you. You are not alone, daughter. You are not alone. So the Lord will fight them. Anyone fighting you must receive the sword of the Lord. The Lord will fight for you. It doesn't matter how bad your past was. God will still fight for you. I activate the God of heaven to defend your cause. May he defend you. As they ran away, for they realized that God was with you. As they see God with you, as they see God with you, as they see God with you, as they see that God is with you, as they see that God is with you, as they see that you are not by yourself, you are not alone, daughter. You are not alone. You are not alone. So they must stop fighting you. Because when they fight against God, they know they will not win. God is with you. God is with you. You are not by yourself. 
they must run away from you. They must run away from your finances because God is with you. Your life must change because God is with you. The hand of the Lord is upon your life. God is with you. You are not by yourself anymore. You are not stranded anymore. The hand of the Lord is upon you. The grace of God is upon you. God is with you. You are not by yourself. The enemy must flee 99 Park Lane because God is with you. When God steps in to the situation, the enemy must realize you are not by yourself. God is with you. You are not alone. God is with you. In your marriage, God is with you. In your home, God is with you. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray God is with you you are not by yourself God is with you you are not by yourself the enemy must flee the enemy must run away God is with you the enemy must run away God is with you the enemy cannot flee while you are praying like that the enemy cannot run while you are praying like that step it up Zimwera kara newe kurerese kari tize moto pana Isabella po tukureke zera moto pana Isabella po moto mshishi legede beke di bakata lama haya the fire of the Holy Ghost the fire of the Holy Ghost the enemy must flee because God is with you the enemy must flee because God is with you the enemy must flee because God is with you the enemy must flee because God is with you the enemy must flee because God is with you the enemy must flee because God is with you the enemy must run away because God is with you the enemy must flee God is with you the enemy must flee God is with you the enemy must flee. God is with you. God is with her. You are not alone. God is with you. The enemy must run away because God is with you. The enemy must run away. The enemy must run away. God is with all of you. God is with you.